Stack Overflow design and PCB methodological deposition process are applied on the latest Mega Sensor Shield V1. The independent breakout design makes sensor shield more convenient and easier to use. Now let's take a closer look at each part. This shield breaks out all digital and analog input or output pins of Mega R3. Each one is paired up with power supply pins, one row of JND pins and one row of VCC pins. There is an APC220 wireless RF interface, an SPI port, a Bluetooth interface, an ultrasonic sensor interface. An external power supply port and a reset button. Now let's do a simple test for this shield. First, connect the mega board to computer with a USB cable to download the program. Then go to device manager to check if it is correctly connected. Right click computer, go to properties, click device manager and click port. You can see Arduino Mega 2560 COM 112 Mini board is successfully connected. Now open Arduino IDE, click Tools. For board, select Arduino Mega 2560. For port, select COM 112. The same with settings in Device Manager. In here, we can compile a program or directly copy and paste the program. For all of our products, we have supporting files. From where you can find a simple program for this shield. Directly copy the program and paste it here. Click verify to check compiling mistakes. It codes are correct. Click upload to upload the program to the board. After uploading is done, let's do the wire connection. Stack the shield on top of the main board. You can see the indicator light is on. Interfaces of the shield are standard 3-pin interface, so we can use 3 pin cables to easily connect the tilt switch module to D7, LED1 module to D10, LED2 module to D11. Pay attention not to reverse ground and signal. Now tilt the tilt switch module to one end, LED1 is on. Tilt it to another end, LED2 is on. With this shield, you can conveniently connect any sensor to have different experience. Test is now complete. Thank you.